Hey everyone, it's Lindsay. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing 14 unexpected dollhouse items from Hobby Lobby, and then I'm gonna give you a tour of this Christmas cottage. So the first one was the vase filler, and I thought that would make perfect snowballs. Number two are the little tabletop Christmas tree ornaments. There's so many ornaments that can be used as decor. Bottle brush trees is number three. These make great Christmas trees, whether inside or outside of your dollhouse. Number four are paper crafts, and I love these. These make great picture frames on the wall. We have these little bottles, which are great in the bathroom or kitchen. These little bottle caps make great pie pans. These little photo corners make great architectural details. So number five are stickers. If you can find the slightly more expensive ones that are a little more three-dimensional, they make great dollhouse finds. Number six is scrapbooking paper. Scrapbooking paper makes great floors, backsplashes, rugs, and it's a quick and easy way to add texture to a house without using wood or fabric or real wallpaper, etc. So number seven are the small packages in the wood crafts aisle. You can find flower pots, you can find spools, little round wooden pieces to make furniture. Number eight are felt sheets, and they have more than just felt in this section. They have faux leather, they have faux fur, and these make great rugs. So this one is one of my absolute favorites. Number nine are jewelry charms, and right now they have a ton of Christmas ones out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below with what your favorite dollhouse find is in this video. I'd love to hear about it. And if you're not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe for more dollhouse videos and regular full-size house videos as well. They also have a ton of tiny little Christmas craft items as well. Buttons are another great dollhouse find. They have themed ones and you can also just use regular buttons for plates. The fairy garden aisle also has a lot of fun finds. They may be not quite to scale for 112, but still some good finds. Number 13 is ribbon. It makes great bedding, curtains, table runners, etc. Number 14 are the florals. You can go on a hunt and find the teeniest tiny ones that you can find, and these make great plants and flower arrangements. Finally, it's time for the Christmas cottage tour. So this is a dollhouse I built from scratch a few years ago. I will link the playlist. So this orange crate came from my mother-in-law. This mat is made from a cork scrapbooking paper. And the wreath and greenery are made from Christmas-themed pipe cleaners. Rob built this turntable, and I'll show a few clips of him building that in a moment.
is the inside of the dollhouse. So this little basket of books was made with some needlepoint canvas, that little plastic mesh, and I wove some really thin ribbon in between. And some of these books were gifted to me and then some I made. I think I shared this little teddy bear guy in an estate hall recently. I built this fireplace out of cardboard, leftover trim pieces, some beads, and some sticks. The bottle brush trees on top are actually wrapped with some fast food napkins. The little cookie cutters are little buttons. The cookies are polymer clay. The canister for the utensils is from the little woodcraft aisle. Some are stickers, some are polymer clay, some are wood pieces, some are jewelry charms. The soap is also polymer clay and the towel is made from a baby washcloth. The Christmas tree was an ornament from Walmart and I saw that they still have those this year. I made all the gifts, I took some cardboard and wrapped them with scrapbooking paper. Now let's move upstairs. So I handmade all of these books. The clock is a button with a clock face glued on. This little box with key is a jewelry charm. We have a little gift wrap table. I took a wooden spool and wrapped it with ribbon. The scissors came with a dollhouse toolkit and I made the candle with one of those little glass jars, filled it with polymer clay and, and took a little Yankee candle label out of a catalog. So that wraps up the video, we'll see you down in the comments, bye!